My name is Annika and I'm President and Head of Products and Platforms at LiveRamp. So when I was in high school, at the end of high school, I was really set on studying physics in college. When I got to college, when I got to Stanford, um, I went head into taking a lot of physics classes and math classes to support that. And throughout the course of my freshman year, I came to this realization that maybe physics wasn't for me. Maybe this isn't what I wanted to do. And that was a really challenging emotional moment for me because all of these things that I believed to be true about my own interests and where I wanted to go, suddenly I had to rethink them because the path I was going down wasn't actually making me very happy. I started looking at a lot of different majors. I ended up choosing an interdisciplinary major that was called Mathematics and Computational Sciences, which is a little bit of math, statistics, management science and engineering, and computer science. And what that allowed me to do was explore a whole range of technical interests, as well as take other classes that were were not technical like creative writing and history classes and the way that that's really helped me since then is that in my career here at LiveRamp I've had so many different roles. I started in engineering, I did product management, I ran marketing and recruiting for a year. Recognizing in myself that I really enjoyed being able to jump in and solve lots of different types of problems and solve those problems with lots of different types of frameworks. That was something that's been really beneficial and very critical to the success that I've had. So one piece of advice I would give to people who are interested in getting into leadership positions, especially positions where they're leading an entire company, is to focus on intellectual curiosity. I'm not the expert in a lot of the areas that I'm managing. I oversee a number of different functions. I oversee security, engineering, product, uh, technical services, and our operations teams. So it's a pretty big breadth of functions that I oversee. It's been really interesting for me to figure out how do I support the leaders on my team who are the foremost experts here, and what do I have to bring to the table? So the skill that I think is really important to develop is being curious, asking questions, knowing how to get to the answer, but not always necessarily having the answer yourself. So my senior year of uh, college, I was trying to decide what I was gonna do next in my life. And so I applied to what's called the co-term program where you do this fifth year master's in computer science. Applied for that in the fall and didn't get into the program. I was a little surprised by it and it was, it was very upsetting because all of a sudden in January, I had to figure out what am I gonna do next in my life. And by that time, like a lot of other people I knew already knew what they were going to do next. Some of them were gonna go to grad school. Some of them were gonna go work at Google or Facebook. Some of them were gonna go into management consulting. I was had to go back to square one and figure out what is it that I was going to do. And this ended up being a really pivotal moment for me because it's what brought me to where I am today. I basically made the decision that I wanted to work in San Francisco, find a startup, and that brought me to LiveRamp. Uh, and little did I know that nine years later we would be a standalone public company and I would be one of the leaders with the biggest purviews across the company. And so it was a very fortuitous turn of events that led me to where I am today. I'm still so grateful that I didn't get into that program, even though I was so upset at the time, but it's, you never know what's going to happen. And some of the hardest moments and some of the areas where you hit these challenges and places where you have to rethink what your path is going to be, those are the ones that end up bringing you the greatest successes in the future. So I really enjoy reading and watching TV shows that are science fiction shows. And I think the reason why I enjoy this genre so much is that I really enjoy thinking about the future. And I think the really good writers and cinematographers and authors that are creating these stories about possible worlds in the future, they're coming at it from thinking about like what are the problems that we have today and what are the creative ways we could solve them as well as thinking about what are the problems that we might have tomorrow. And in doing so, I think there are actually lessons we can learn that we could potentially apply to the way we think about solving huge global issues today, whether it's climate change or access to food or overpopulation. It's really interesting imagining all the different outcomes of, of what could happen and thinking about the way we solve these problems. 
person that I look up most to in my life is my mother. Um, she is, to me, just so impressive. She immigrated here from India in the 70s for graduate school. Even in India, she was one of the few women in her engineering program. She did electrical engineering. Uh, she's always been a pioneer. She's always pushed the boundaries. She started her own company in the 80s when very few people were starting companies and much less very few women. Um, she was an incredible mother while also having an amazing career. And I'm still inspired by her every day. I still talk to her about some of the challenges that I'm facing at work and how she thinks about solving them. And I really hope that I can be as accomplished and as amazing as she is when I'm her age.